welcome to my video i'm jennifer roberts you're either catching me on my youtube channel true divine 44 or my facebook page true divine 44 like share subscribe and comment on either or both of those platforms is greatly appreciated and much love to everybody who's doing that this far um, you can always support me by booking a private reading either via messenger or with the contact details above or below this video depending on where you're watching it which platform you're catching it on i'm putting out as much free content as i can uh, via tarot to help support guide and inspire but because it's general the free content that i put out then it, some of it might resonate with you some days some of it might not it might all resonate with you it might all not just take what helps take what guides and inspires and leave the rest behind for somebody else so this is the 16th of March 2020 and things are getting intense everywhere um, so I'm putting out the daily energy read this I get a collective of the energies around me um, translate those via tarot and deliver them to you to help you in any which way I can trying to do my bit I will be trying to put out more and more videos um, to, to do my bit so um, try and catch those ones I really appreciate that also so for the 16th of March uh, 2020, the first card being the Six of Pentacles. So the, the, these are coming up in private readings as well a lot. So the Six of Pentacles being um, generosity, reciprocity. Um, you know, in, in, I feel for a lot of people in the community um, coming together, you know, looking after the people who need to be looked after, um, giving what they can, uh, sharing what they can, um, not being selfish being being drawn to give being drawn to look after the more more vulnerable um and i'm glad to say the friends that i've got on facebook it, although there's a lot of distraction going on on facebook i i have posts coming up from friends that are doing their bit are doing something you know to make sure the elderly in the community have the food that they need and um, the supplies that they need the toiletries that they need um or, or encouraging others to do so so you know that it's really nice to see that even with um sometimes the in the worst situations you see the real color the true color shining through of people um and i'm seeing a lot of uh, beautiful colors beautiful rainbows in people that are wanting to look after others that are wanting to um give to others um and it's through this generosity it's through this reciprocity that real community is built and um, that real friendship is built um, you might be finding in your personal lives that actually um, during this time people who you didn't expect have stepped forward into your life and you feel um, connected to them you feel like they're there to help and you want to help them so real friendships forming within people's um, circles you know real um, relationship building within people's circles the next card being to clarify it is the six of pentacles so this is really intense energy but it's lovely energy of wanting to show that love of wanting to show that care um and and a real message for those who are giving like this for those who are giving of their time of their effort of their um supplies um all of that you know the, just being shown to you that it's going to come back to you in more ways than you could expect um one having those beautiful people around you two having those people that feel grateful towards you that want to um show you um kindness but also um give you some security for the future in that the people you look after today invariably are the people that will look after you tomorrow um so the real connection there that's being built between people um, and this is exactly what is in order to be honest um, it, to to fight back with what's going on right now with every with everything that's going on around us right now this is the greatest thing that we could be doing today for each other this is the greatest um, uh, fight back battle plan that we could have towards everything that's going on um, because it's it, it feeds back that energy of you know what we're just going to get on with it um, in the UK I know I know around the world people are in the UK we can do that we'll get pushed to a point where you know I say no 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 especially where I am in Newcastle it's you know there's community people people 
um, they don't want to see people hard up. They don't want to see people struggling, especially the more vulnerable in the community. Um, and this is the kind of energy that really does fight back with the thing that's going on. I'm not even going to give it a name. Um, but you know that it does fight back. It does put that energy feed um, back into the loop of, you know, this isn't this isn't affecting us adversely. This is actually um, reminding us of things that we've lost. It's reminding us to get to know our neighbours. It's reminding us to um, stop and ask somebody who is elderly or struggling in the street if they need help or if they need anything else or if they need some shopping done or anything like that. It's actually, um, this is the kind of energy loop that's being called for. This is the, this is what, this is it. This is the bullet that you fire back at this kind of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Towards any um, nefarious uh, energy that's being put out there via this you know what. Um, so, you know, this is really good. This is really wholesome. This is exactly what is in order to um, fight back the most in the most um, impactful way so it, it's a beautiful thing so then we have the death card the second card being the death card um, in the there really is this shedding away of, of old constructs this death card keeps coming up um, and it reminds us that in a time where in a time where there might be um a worry about even physical death where there might be um thoughts of um loved ones who are in the more vulnerable category it reminds us that death creates space and time for new life um but i feel this mostly represents um, a reminder to treasure the people that we love to show them that we love them to show them in life during this lifetime that we care about them that they're important um, that, we, that we hold space and time for them in our hearts and in our physical day-to-day -day life um, it's also to remember that with um with death, death can to some people be a very frightening thing. I don't feel this is representing physical death in a big way today on the 16th. I feel this is representing um, a, a death of old belief systems, a death of old ways of being, um, a, a death of the disconnection that we've all had um, and you know, making that space and time um, within each of us to, to treasure life and to actually think about different ways of doing things um, to, to, to you know, do things that actually um, give us more sovereignty, that give us more control, um, seeing gaps in, in our daily life that, you know, for instance, the um, shops running out of things, um, you know, there's this energy of, well, I'm going to grow my own. I'm going to help the person at the allotment to grow theirs and, and get something from them. Different ways of thinking of things and taking back that sovereignty, taking back some of that control um, from the controllers that be um, and saying, you know, well, OK, you know, actually, when the shit hits the fan, when it comes down to it, the the way that um, the controllers have constructed um, my day-to-day -day life, the way, I, the way I have to rely on things, the way I have to do things, actually doesn't work. It actually doesn't protect us. It doesn't um, make sure that the most vulnerable um, get the right care. It doesn't have um, the facilities or the wherewithal to do what needs to be done. So actually, yeah, we're going to take back some control. We're going to plant things. We're going to use the land that we see um, to plant communal gardens. We're going to make sure that actually we have um, we have the ability to grow both in ourselves, spiritually, physically and mentally, but also grow the physical things that sustain us, that bring life. Um, and a real feeling of this isn't working. Whatever this is, whatever it's been thrown at the wide worldwide community, 
to lock down, to shut up, to keep tight, it's actually not working. The people are um, seeing through it and they're looking through, uh, uh, they're looking at ways to, to do things differently, to um, make things happen in a different way, to construct things that actually do work for them and the community, their families around them, their friends. So, you know, actually it's that overplaying of the hand again that I've been talking about um, and this new energy sprouting up, growing and actually being able to take the space and time to look around and see that actually, yeah, relying on the shops for 100% shouldn't be the case. Um, it doesn't actually work, especially when we look around and we see all of this wasted land that could be used um, for good, for the community, for for sustenance, for um, nourishment. So there's, there's, there's new ideas coming through, there's new ways of thinking, there's new ways of implementing things, um, sprouting out from what would seem like death, what would seem like um, an ending. It is actually a beautiful ending of old ways of thinking, um, limited ways of thinking. Um, this tree is going higher, it's going stronger, it's growing wider and um, the roots are getting more and more connected and the roots do represent the people on the ground the people who are saying hold on a minute yeah we, we need to decide things for ourselves we need to look after ourselves um, and a community so to clarify that we have the beautiful queen of pentacles this divine feminine energy who is she she is the one who um absolutely recognizes the abundance um in growing your own in in um maintaining self she's the businesswoman she's but she's the nurturer also um and she has a way of seeing seeing gaps in the market seeing gaps in um the way we can look after ourselves and and have that abundance that we need so she's um she's coming in really heavy and strong today um just to just to encourage people to to hold that space to hold that time and think of different ways of doing things um this energy i'm feeling is a lot of the motherly energy out there now that doesn't matter whether you're male or female but this motherly energy of okay i need to plan i need to plan my cupboards i need to plan um what I can cook, when I can cook it. I need to look at what I can actually get a hold of and when, and is that going to be okay? She's the she's the mother, but business-like about it. It's like, right, okay, let's get down to business now. We need to plan. We need to have um, a foundation. We need to know um, that this crop's coming in or that this cupboard can be full with this type of food. And... Um, she also looks at, at, at nature for um, for the nature's medicine, for, for the things that actually, um, the herbs and the spices that do support the physical makeup of the human body, that do protect it, that do build immunity. This is that energy. So this is people getting um, down on ground level and making things happen. Um, getting down on ground level and making sure family, friends are okay. This queen holds that space and time for the loved ones that she has. And she's very community spirited. She's very um, family orientated. And that family can be blood or it can be extended family, but very business-like about it, very organized, very structured. So there's lots of that energy coming through within people today also. The third card being the three of pentacles so again it's that look into community um working together um <clears throat> knowing that you can't do it all on your own um knowing that you shouldn't it, it, you know it's 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 more fun it's more sustainable um it's it's easier to be able to work within a team now whether that's you you know getting down to ground level within the energy of this queen and just organizing your family and saying, okay, we've got to have the kids at home. This is what we can do. This is how we're going to fill up the time. This is how we're going to fill up the cupboards. Very organized and structured and even just the family unit, um, learning how to actually work as a family again, work as a unit um, that, you know, maybe if the schools close here, as they have 
many places around the world that you know that we can we can make this fun we can make this an education in itself of you know yes we've become too reliant on shops yes we've become too reliant on government yes we've become too reliant on um this that and the other when actually there's opportunity here to learn how to grow food there's opportunity here to learn how to garden um to learn how to work as a team as a family um there's also a lot of energy coming up and, and it may not be apparent to everybody right now but there's lots of um, budding businesses coming up that actually um, want to do things differently that want to provide services in a different way that would actually if they'd been in place before what was going on right now is going on um, there would actually be a real help a real aid to keep people sustained during times like this um, so again, businesses um, that are working as a team but have a very different way of thinking, um, you know, very grassroots, very um, uh, coming in where the gap is in the market now, where we're seeing all of those gaps um, where the construct that we have doesn't work. Um, these, there's opportunity for these businesses to take hold and bud and, and create something awesome. Um, so there's loads of opportunity loads of um togetherness it's all about togetherness it's all about camaraderie um and that's an awesome energy as i say to be feeding back um to the construct that the the powers that be to be feeding back that kind of powerful energy that kind of um em empowered energy um is so important and so impactful um and probably worrying on their side but actually on our side the community side it is good. It's exactly what's needed. It's the shake-up that's needed to bring people together. Um, forget about silly divisions. Forget about silly politics. Forget about anything that, you know, the labels that were meant to divide us. But And just see that actually when it comes down to it, when things do hit the fan, when, when there's a lot to deal with, we can look around us and see that people aren't so bad. People are still people and they actually are remembering that it's nice to be part of the community. It's nice to have friends. It's nice to be part of a team. Um, so there's such good energy coming out of this today, which is awesome. So the, the card to clarify the Three of Pentacles is the Three, the Empress. Um, again, this beautiful divine feminine energy. She's a major arcana. Um, this divine feminine energy, you know, um, she she knows that the thoughts that we have um, translated into the words that we speak out, um, to the deeds that we do, um, manifest the, the, the reality that we live in. And so with all of these cards put together, um, talking about love, talking about community, talking about practicality, talking about sustainability, talking about working together, um, reciprocity, kindness, generosity, all of these cards are talking of that. Transformation and change, stepping up to, to, to step in where there are gaps. All of this, this, this kind of Empress energy will... Um, revel in it because as I say she knows that from thoughts to words to actually speaking out the words which is a spell you're casting a spell every time you do it it's casting um good energy out there it's um it's nurturing supportive energy and through that um community is being manifested we're being reminded about actually who we are and what we are, especially when um, we work together um, and be a part of something. Um, she's also, you know, she's so abundant. This is the fruitful queen. Um, so there might be a lot of people who are worried while they're um, pregnant right now. And I can't give any medical advice. I can't you know, know exactly what's going on. Um, but this Empress energy is saying to you, don't worry. Don't worry. 
this too shall pass. And whoever I'm picking up on who is really anxious about their baby, really anxious about themselves while they're pregnant, um, relax. Relax. Because if anything's going to lower your immunity, um, it's anxiety, it's worry. Try and revel in the energy that's around today of community, of love, generosity and know that there will be people around you to help protect you, support you and keep you during what can feel like a very vulnerable time when you're pregnant, um, especially when there's worries like this going on. Try and relax, try and know that you're supported, you're guided, you and your baby are fine. So this queen as well, she recognises she's she recognises the great mother, Mother Earth. She recognises the bun, the abundance that the, the great mother has. You can look around, find berries. You can look around, find fruits. You can look around, um, find herbs. It, it's all there for the taking. Um, it's all there for the sowing. It, she recognises that, and so where she is, um very spiritual, very intuitive. Um, she, she absolutely recognises that um, being guided by her intuition, being guided by the way she feels rather than what she's being told is so much more important. So on the bottom of the deck for the first deck we have the strength card, another major arcana and this is to know that actually um, the fight back that I'm feeling today for the collective is that um, there's this recognition of um, almost like laughing back, um, you know, saying we're not going to be affected, we're not going to be brought down, and we're not going to be, we're not protesting, we're not banging on windows, we're not breaking um, cars and stuff like that. We're actually just showing you. Uh, a side of us that you haven't seen for a while and it's that togetherness that strength um, that ability to laugh throughout it all and um, that ability to support and have fun with each other throughout it all and that's that's so impactful um, more than most even know um, but they're feeding from that and that is a good thing because um, the more laughter we can create the more um, quiet strength um, we can we can create uh, is is going to be the the best medicine for anything that's happening right now. On the bottom of the other deck is the Knight of Cups. So take time out today to follow something that makes you feel good. Follow something that makes you feel happy. Um, to not allow yourself to be distracted by worries but to concentrate on something that really stirs you up, that really gets you going, um, that really makes you feel um, blissful, whole, happy, all of the all of the above, um, and for and go for that. There might be a lot of messages um, that people are experiencing collectively, especially with these two six of pentacles together, where. People are just sharing how much they love each other. People are telling each other how much they love each other. You know, they're taking that important time out to let loved ones know exactly how people feel about them, exactly how important they are um, and to you. And that's going to make a huge difference in people's lives. And again, it's going to feed into this um, collective energy of togetherness, of connectedness, um, which is, is, is just, it's so magical, um, the spell that people are casting back today of um, happiness, togetherness, connectedness, it, it's all, it's just having a huge impact, um, more than you know. So go for it, tell the ones that you love that you love them, um, be with the ones that you love, have fun with it, um, and, and enjoy the community spirit because, um, it's the very good thing that's coming out of everything that's going on right now. So I hope that helped. Um, it helped me, definitely. Um, I hope it inspired you to, to go out and, and do something generous 
for somebody else um, and see that come back to you tenfold um, and, and let's build this worldwide community together uh, let's be um, a, a positive influence on each other a supportive influence on each other um, and really change how things happen change how things um, born you know change the construct of things into a more um, holistic construct in that you know the recognition of people's individualism but also the recognition of community of what we can get done together and how we can get it done differently so much love as always be balanced and be whole um, and I'll catch you again soon bye